Yeah, I remember that. I forgot, well. I, forgot I had those. Alive, <laughs> you too. You two have delayed us forever. <laughs> yeah, finally, we catch up. Right. So, the joke of Chinese saying <laughs> amphibian, common amphibian animals. Called the Yamu Chiu. The Yamu Chiu means climbing, moon means a tree. Chiu means a kind of find. Yu means a fish. Okay, Con connect to the other. What does that mean? English. Okay. Advanced. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. This guy tried to climb a tree to find a fish, right? So, hmm. it means something. What do you think it means? Something? <laughs> climbing a tree to find a fish. Trying to fish, find a fish. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? No, I don't know. <laughs> it means he is mentally unstable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think so as well. Yeah. <laughs> what is. Tree fish mean you're asking? <laughs> no, I'm telling the what this is what this is a, this is this is, this is story mean. Is it like a a, man, a flying story. fish? No, a man climbing a tree looking in a fish. Exactly, looking for a fish. Yeah. That's the uh, story. Yeah, sure. like in a tree? Yeah, in a tree, yeah. So what it, what do you fly? Is he, is he, is he... That's not smart, that, right? So wait, you don't know what he's doing. You don't know what fish. <laughs> you don't know where you look. He Good. could be Perfect. on a tree next to a lake, climbing up a tree to look down and see if he can find any fish in the water. Or like fish tree, from a tree. That's not what he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, what do you think? Um, perhaps he's doing the right thing in the wrong place or context? <sighs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys uh, in English called it? You try to paint the wall on this side. Oh, you put the line on there. What do you call it? What do you English call it? Put the lander on the wrong wall, am I right? So, mm -hmm. so you, you just start painting and saying, I did everything right. In terms of painting, climbing the ladder, did everything. Uh, the owner can't see if you are a contractor. Can you? What? <laughs> <laughs> He's planning my good wall, man. So <laughs> what happened to that guy? <laughs> the other day, watching a YouTube video, and this uh, record, this this uh, lady was so mad. You know, she she hired a contractor. Some uh, young lady tried to demolish something, so she can remodel her home. You know, so. Guess what, the young lady did. <laughs> Demolish the wrong wall. <laughs> they demolish the whole bathroom. It's a perfectly furnished bathroom. They demolish it. it was oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Wow. She was so upset. <laughs> she didn't know what to say, but she lost lost her language. <laughs> so have you guys uh, ever done something in your life like that dumb? <laughs> probably. Yeah, you have, you have, right? you have okay. I probably have. What about one time? Yeah. Uh, okay. One time, me and my dad were. I was like uh, when we first moved mm -hmm. to Washington, mm -hmm. or not to Washington, Whiskey yeah. Creek. Yeah. We were like putting a new cabinet or something, and uh huh. Um, I remember that start of the day. Yeah. We're like putting a cabinet in a cabin that like. The, the measure, and he said, man, you can just break this other one because we don't need any more and just break it up and throw it away. I broke the new one that you just buy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so so what do you think about it? And he was like... <laughs> I, don't think, I think he, he just kind of stepped up and looked at it yeah. and just kind of shrugged his shoulders a little bit. I can see that dude. What do you say to this young Poor. guy? I was like... Words not in my little enough. 13 year old voice. 13 what? years old boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. You're saying that's how it Everything, no one never done anything no. like that. So. Okay. Yeah, there's something you've done. Please explain. Uh, when I tell you, no, but it's a very, very special boy in a certain way. When he was young, very young. Um. He, yeah. You know the second you got, you have a second. Uh, uh, back in Austin, you have a second what is it called a porch. Yeah. Yep. Second story. He refused to get close to the edge of the porch. Man, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Smart boy. little boy, you know. So <laughs> the other boy would have done it, you know. So you gotta stop them. This guy, man, is so cautious. So <laughs> 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 he refused to get to the edge of the porch. You know, so. <laughs> 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 
To put this generator on the back of the buggy, and I did. And I put on what? Put on what? A little buggy, just a little, oh, a little oh, electric. Oh, thing oh, and it like fell off and broke. My dad, another situation. Dad just stared. Just upset that what had happened happened. Which I don't know. The that's, uh, that's golf cart that's situation. That's on feet. The condes I tried to identify. No, I was, <laughs> I, I was supposed to put it on. The most recent thing I can oh. remember doing is. It wasn't that big of a deal, but like I accidentally, we were at the Moon's house right before they were leaving oh, to go to Spain. Oh. <laughs> I accidentally nudged one of their backpacks and one of Lady's plants were just there. <laughs> it was like completely crushed their little face. Is that right? <laughs> it made me feel so bad because it was like oh, it's it's fine, moments it's before they were leaving. He's going to be first. I have so many that kind of mistakes I can't even remember in instance. But it's it good enough for me to understand. I'm not gonna get a fish by climbing a tree. <laughs> that I know. So <laughs> I did something. Yeah. Right. But certain people, man, they will try another tree, another tree, another tree. <laughs> try every tree, right? In the forest. I did something kind of dumb. Like it wasn't something extremely dumb, but I was taking wine glasses back out to the lodge, uh -huh. and I had placed one down, and the other one fell over, and I didn't catch it, and it shattered everywhere. Oh, that's just a uh, casual mistake. I was so well, upset. Well, this way, you're talking about the method. Oh, I've done so many stupid just things. Like I can't it, even remember. Uh, what I'm talking about is a mind is, uh, is uh, like like uh, like Naomi says, the mind is not right. <laughs> Who in the world climb a tree to get a, a fish in the beginning? Don't you know where fish lives? The water, right? so that's why you get a fish. This guy, okay. Have you ever texted someone asking where your phone is? Uh huh. Yeah. Me? You're talking me or you? You? I have. You have? Yeah. Where your phone is? I was holding it. You're holding it? Like you oh, actually have do that have a story. Where are my phone? I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we been have been a Chinese thing no, for that. That's what I did. One time I was holding my phone yeah. and I, with my watch, I dinged it. <laughs> uh, like, we have a Chinese thing for that. <laughs> As the old gentleman in the village, he 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 he, he go everywhere, lost every neighbor. Also, where's my donkey? Where's my donkey? The funny part is the other person really wouldn't realize. I know. Hey, you're right here. <laughs> hey, what are you saying? So the story is that the gentleman is forgetful, so he he went to the long this, you know, run around this. The I don't know if that's the story, but it, uh, we call it Chili Zong. Yeah, we're famous saying that basically he, you know, tried to find his donkey while riding the donkey. Oh, <laughs> so, my, yeah, my donkey! Do uh, you know where my donkey goes? <laughs> it's just like this guy, it's just like this guy that came out of our ones. He said, huh? I'm so hoarse, I can't find my drunk. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, right? a grandpa joke. Stop using <laughs> I, that is a literal <laughs> grandpa one Oh, you know what grandpa did one time? You know those little sniff things? Like. You want to, he will hear this, this <laughs> conversation. Yes, yeah, so he, he will, will hear this conversation. Okay. I no, I've about. told everybody this. He doesn't really care. Okay. He went and bought a new... No, it was a chopstick or a smell thing. And he, <laughs> Definitely he bought it. Tricks. Yeah, he bought it. <laughs> he <laughs> just what? opened the new one and threw it in the new one. <laughs> And just put the old one back in his body. Like, oh, he's like, oh, and he couldn't get out because the trash was like. Ink. Oh, <laughs> that's just the uh, sleep of the mind. Poor yeah. I've done that before. We do that all the time. Mm -hmm. I do that all the time. I did that with gum. I did that with like a big pack of gum and shoe. <laughs> okay, okay. I try to get a point through. You guys don't get the point. Said it all wrong. Oh. 
Joking. Okay. We learn two things, okay? Called the Yuan Mu Jiu Yu, meaning climb the tree, trying to find the fish. It doesn't work. So, Qi Li Zao Liu means riding a donkey to find your donkey. That is. <laughs> so the point is linking to one of the uh, discussion I had with Noah, Kobe D K D was a very common man talking about you know in everything there is a there's a method doing things, am I? You know, method doing things. So to study the method, the first thing you want to know is what are you learning? What do you what do you try to get at, right? So if you don't have your goal or your vision where you get at it, you know, don't get so busy about things first. S spend some solid time to figure out what you try to do, you know. So most of the people in human life in general, people literally don't know what they're doing in most of the time. They don't have a goal. They don't even think they need a goal. You know, so the drift but the wise ones who are wise, they learn from a mistake, you know, so the the wise one actually pay a lot of attention to study. Hey, where's my heading to first? Second, how I get it there? In in terms of how to get there, there is a called a word called how to do things called a methodology of climate. <coughs> so methodology. Now the revolution in your mind, the improvement of methodology would think it's the worst of both things. I know what it means. <coughs> Truth of the matter, that's the the drive, the inspiration for people to study the outside world, am I? Thinking? And let's see. Today you're making coffee. Do you use you use you making coffee like the Western you know cowboy do, you know, pull the fire. See what do you do? You turn on the button, what have you? You got the coffee, you and good coffee service, am I? So so that's a methodology how to produce a, bad, a good coffee, right? So, how to make a coffee. So, the improvement of those things, since you're just making coffee, what's the big deal? And how many, how many types, how many ways to make coffee, mach just machine wise, how many brands out there? How many? You can't really count, right? So, how many ways to make coffee you can't count? Even I mean, you go to a coffee shop, a variety of different taste of coffees. So, somebody said, I know how to drink coffee, I know how to make coffee. Tell the barista, tell the machines, you know, the manufacturing machines. They said, are you kidding me? You know what you're talking about? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not necessarily redundant, you thinking about those terms you bring to real life, very near you. <clears throat> Story like, okay, then I'll share with you this like, It'd be fun. Now try to be serious about it. Why you study what you study? Why you spend time together? You, you, why you want to have a friend? Why, you want, why are you getting married? Why you want a child? Those things maybe require a bigger decision in life or bigger <coughs> impactful decision. Right? It's not some decision, hey, today I eat rice. No, today I eat sushi, don't feel good. It's okay. Next day you still come back. <laughs> <laughs> you can decide like sushi or not even, you know. <coughs> but certain decisions are not like that nature. Therefore we need to learn to apply okay, what the what the what, what we what is the word? Ramifications or consequences of the decision. Or the how I apply uh, am I right uh, apply the right or productive efficient method to to get where I need to go, that's something. Is uh, in general we talk about the to learn how to learn. You learn something is method already set, and right some of the important methods they know. But how about you try to improve the method? Eh? Oh, okay, okay. Can I make coffee, coffee this way? Maybe I can do a better way. You know me. So have a better taste to it, whatever, better machine produced. So all those actually from human wisdom, those are called just people being inventive, being creative, being they seeing the same thing every day, <coughs> every day for granted. And there's nothing to be done. Coffee surely you need to get a pot, set a fire, you know, get some coffee, you know. Good or not, I don't know, but that's coffee. <laughs> so, 
But then you said, hey, I want a, a, a espresso. What is it called? Espresso. Espresso. You, you had to push. You know? Somebody said, <clears> hey, <throat> there's me and have some fresh of this thing and then squeeze some juice out of it better than milk. So something that nature did begin to study the method. I'll go conclude there. So in learning things, in do everything, <coughs> there is uh, this um, interesting <coughs> mindset everybody can learn to that and get good at it. Um, that is to learn how to learn. What is that? Learn how to learn. Not, no one, do we have some comments? Uh, carry on with the last conversation we had about the methodology. I want that everybody just, you know, a little bit of, uh, understand that. Then we read some poem together, so, yeah. Um, I don't have too much more to add besides <coughs> what you've already expounded on. Uh, I think it's something we've, both you and I and everyone here has actually mm. talked about um, quite a bit um, mm. as a president. Um, relates to the importance of not simply what is learned, but the way in which it is learned. So mm. um, that, to put it in a word, that is that does have to do with method. Mm. And uh, methods can change if you're more specific as to um, how it concerns us particular subjects, say like poetry. Mm. Uh, it's Poetry is not something that is learned in the same way like math is, for instance. Yeah. Oh. Um, however, there are some things, there is an importance too in the way that subjects can relate to each other, like I think one of the things that you had Elijah and I memorized, yeah, geez, the, three, right. the three ways oh, to well, learn. Think and learn three things all together, if you apply your mind to it. Go ahead. And right. Start. And the two other being, the two others being that from at least three people, mm -hmm. or from three people you can learn from at least one, so as it, relationships have a key role to play in learning uh, whether it be uh, subjects and themes in life or in mm. academic subjects and then the other being that if you are to learn from anyone then learn from the best because you at least will be mediocre in mm. that what you learn and at yes. most um, as good as they are but, mm. um, so those those at least two of those yeah, three yes. things um, it really stresses the importance of uh, relationships. You got that essay, that's wonderful essay you wrote what? years ago. That is, essay? Yeah, oh. you wrote an essay on that. Uh, I long, might be able to find it. I mean, um, it's way down there. Now. It's, it's before you know him. So he no. was quite young. No? No? Oh, maybe not. not I've not met you for like six, seven years. Oh, I'm sorry. No. no. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a distant person. Oh, Hong Kong with them before you Hong Kong busy like a like a buzz. Like like yeah, yeah. Maybe I see that. Okay. Anyway, we, you know, they all Noah and Elijah in those particular time uh, applied some serious reflection on the three points. As uh, Naomi, what is the three points? Uh, I don't know, I have a question. Are they more interested in that thing or not? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> that <that'll> be... <laughs> What's the three points? I don't know. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Repeat it many times. Let's, uh, let's Elijah repeat again. So, what's the three points? Number one. Mm. Number one. Number one. Out of three people, you can learn from at least one person. Mm. Number two, you can learn multiple things at once. Mm. Number you can two, learn one thing and then apply to other things. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then number three is if you're going to learn, learn from the best. Learn from the best. And uh, what you're wanting to learn. At least still good, right? If you learn from the worst, you will. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you can get it somewhere <laughs> very easily. So. <laughs> Like, uh, I don't want to drink Cowboy's coffee, so that's my best shot of coffee. <laughs> okay, so maybe you can. <laughs> but I want to like, like, learn, to, you know, maybe somebody really knows coffee, you know, so to, 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 to learn how to drink coffee. Now, you guys are not interested in the topics. I hope you will eventually in your life when you begin to really want to master something or good with things, really become a 
wiser the wiser your inner attitudes, your inner what I call a small mind. Begin not idolizing your life very much. <laughs> Who cares what you think? You learn real thing in life. You have to get over this uh, this uh, small self. And <coughs> uh, the Bible talks about the crucified that. And um, you know the Bible also tell about you know wisdom or good things of God is like honey, right? Mm -hmm. Honey. You see how bee, you know what I mean? How to hunt honey is easily to go to, I don't know how many miles, a long miles the bee on the carry from the little honey, this one, that one. And they do it diligently, you know, so they have to come back to the nest to, to, to make sure it, it, the store were good. So the picture from a bee hunting honey, carry honey, is more than a, a a picture of a diligence per se, organization per se, but there is a taste to it. Bees don't go to any flower to to spend their time. Bees, you know, the good of the best of flowers can get honey with it. They will travel far away to find the right spot because that's a flower more fragrant, have more for, for, for making honey. You know, so so they have an intuitive smartness. So wise ones learned in life, learn intuitively love truth, love wisdom, love the people can impart the thing to you. And they don't have this uh, self advertise the, the Bible use the word, you know, there are three things distracted us. The, the what? The last of the, the eyes, the last of the flesh, that's it's animal instinct. <laughs> but the last one is very interesting, it's an intellectual uh, instinct of humankind, or intellectual appetites. It, it's actually to do with the value system of life. You know, so unfortunately, many a culture, especially in American culture today, stand out is a little bit of the posture for express yourself is a, is a from the very essence of it, and a method applied to it, a goal and a method, is a wrong one to begin with. And I say, look at me as if we've been shocked. So American culture is definitely not biblical culture. So, <laughs> and uh, therefore the things agreeable and normal in American <laughs> culture may be very, very contrary, and um, even distracting to us to develop a godly character. One of the things, the third one, called the pride of life. The pride of life. If your parents uh, found you doing something seriously in a state of uh, imperfection or state of lag or state of continued struggle, especially in terms of hard attitudes, you still fighting your parents and say, hey, you're not supposed to tell me that. I'm not taking use of that. I'm not happy about that. Well, you're definitely not a good student in life, right? Anyway. So, I mean, who, who loves you more? Who, who knows you more? Who, who adores you more? Who wants to give you the best, right? Anyway. So, and let's see, they feel, well, it's, it's time to deal with that, you know, it's for your good, right? Anyway. For your good. <laughs> At least, even if it's not right, maybe. At least their heart is right, right? Anyway. They want to do something good for you. And your attitude is saying, no, they don't know me, they don't care about me, they just try to be my enemy, it's like, too harsh on me. And I hope your parents are not like that. I know they're not. <laughs> <I'm joking. coughs> then, in reflection, you look at the mirror, the problem is not your parents, the problem is whom? It's, it's you. And who give you that kind of attitude, that way to carry yourself? Who, who told you to do that? Not your parents? Not your good friends, Naomi. Not me. So who you're listening to is is key, right? Who are you model after? Are you modeling after a man of truth, of humility, of love, a decency, honest to his own heart, or you want to be someone else, <coughs> something else, or some different uh, mode, different colors of who you are. Now, unfortunately, <clears throat> there are things in this world 
so easy they want us to to be to be part of that and you know, to participate with that. So the key is come back to your own heart to say, okay, what is really the content of the way how I carry myself? You know, uh, oh, oh, I think I'm not necessarily 100% there, but uh, at least I learned through the years and learned through your, your parents. Uh, we're humble people, but definitely different kind of a breed in our normal, even good Christians, right? So this is why. Well, they, they want to hear. They, they care to hear and they want to practice. So why not learn those things? Why does it slide over you? Because that's the most important thing in your life. The, the, best, the best characteristic of your life is to learn humility, true humility. And if you are your, their children, you are the ones dealing with them, make a decision with them, you might want to learn how they do things, what kind of attitude to engage with them, right? So why they do? Why, why do they allow others to speak to them in a certain way? And why they take initiative, maybe as an offense for others, uncomfortability to others, to say, I want to do this with you, I want to talk about you about these things. I, I can't agree with you, or I need to bring some question on those things. So why? Because they have a weak, uh, I think, informed by God, displayed through the agreement with God's truth, um, they learn to not let their emotion, this is small self, if the Bible called old self, right, to dominate the leader life. It's not the driving force anymore. They have an ear ear. They, they want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. question about this thing. Why? Why did it happen? It's very <clears> simple. <throat> but I will I did highlight it. And I have every right to highlight it. And I have every benefit for you for that thing to be highlighted. So why the opposition in my mind? Interesting, huh? Something very good, something needy, something helpful, but uh, uncomfortable. Not supposed to happen. Not good for me. Uh, awkward. But why is that? Why is that? Think about that. If that's your life or you carry it around, are you going to get anywhere? Not too far, am I? <clears throat> uh, something creaking in the court to you and you don't have um, the ability to really appreciate the others why what they're doing what they do not me why I'm doing it to harm you to humility <laughs> to give you a hard time or try to say there are some things so substantial can change your life I'm gonna try to dialogue with you but you don't pay attention to it when you're gonna pay attention to it how are you gonna pay attention to it if you don't do that with me, I don't think I do with your parents. The fact that you did not do that with your parents, or else you were here again, right? Your parents don't do that. Your parents absolutely don't do that. <laughs> you think you have a hard time. I'm going to scorch them <laughs> to death. <laughs> scorch them. <laughs> they, they, they learn not to do that. Our relation started with that. They know something. <coughs> can be dialogue through us yeah. to benefit them. So they don't they don't come to me for other reasons, am I? So they in a sense they want me to talk to them like that. In general, pastoral heart, not every occasion I'm talking about in general. So why we don't have that kind of heart? That's just a question. You know, it's a question. That means you're not good students of life as yet. <laughs> Far away from it. You're not able to hear and treasure the thing matters in life. So why is that? Why is that? There are many things. I think uh, 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 Benji had a vision the last time of these two eyes, right? So what happened to the two eyes? And that covered. Something was covered up, right? So until something from heaven sent down to burn it away, right? So, okay, who sent that thing to burn it away? Let me give you a very clear interpretation of that. My teachings. Right? Okay. I think that 
argue. <laughs> so that means heaven is paying attention to that. Spirit of God intended to come something. So, and it's going to change your life, you know? Do you think like that? <coughs> but that's why, right? That's why I do what I do. That's why I do what I do. No, I mean, I'm not target them, right? So, why should I do it? <laughs> You're not the proper vessel. So why should I pour my best wine in it? The wisdom I share with you is not the smart points. If you think like that, you will have no appreciation of the one who really is speaking to you. And the story. Right? It's with, with your time. Now, if you waste time with me, I'm not upset with you. I'm just giving you the clear answer. And the other said, well, I don't know. I can teach them person something or work with that something because it's, it's something out there. I cannot trust that person to do something for me <laughs> in substantial way. I cannot let that person to be a good friend to my child, to, to teach my child. Or if I have a million dollars in the US to do something, <laughs> I can do that. Can that. Why well, can't? Because it's impossible to be trusted. The, way the care itself is like, it's something out there. It's not solid. I'm not hoping I'm accusing anyone, right? So it's not solid. When I talk something, he's, he's not interested in listening. He's not really getting it. And Jesus said, by the measure, you measure what? Measure on your knee. Well, he measured that to you. That's all. He, he didn't try to be ugly to you. <laughs> like he said, I can't really point to you, you know? You just. You don't press down, you don't squeeze in, you, you prepare a little word, little heart, little vessel. <laughs> the heart is a vessel. Same thing. And you, don't, you don't think somebody can change it? Well, the bad fact is, God's servant of those teachers in the business change your heart and mind. That's it. So your, your eyes, your ear can hear, your, your eye can see, your heart can be. And what the word turn means you know, is it being strongly changed. 180 degree change, if you will. The word repent, right? 180 degree. You don't agree somebody can do that with you. Or your heart need to go something that dramatically change. And what well, that means, either Jesus Christ teaching to you, it's a stamming block. Oh, you're stopping block to him. Because the truth cannot easily flow. His, his, his wine is wasted, right? The vessel is closed, close the lead. People said, that's not important. That's, what are you talking about? I got it. I got it. If you really got it, you will change, right? You'll see, right? <laughs> You mean that differently? The Jesus came to a whole bunch of Jews, man. <laughs> Million Jews. <coughs> he grew his whole family. He didn't have a good audience with them. And uh, so, if the Bible says so, John, the, the apostle in the gospel said, he come to his own, that the king, the man. Speak the same language, have the same tradition, use the same book even. But they don't have the, what do you say? But they, they own don't receive him or something like that. They come to his own. They own don't receive. They, they even persecuted him, right? Eventually crucified him in a sense for that generation. So Jesus continued reading. He's not trying to give anybody a hard time, <laughs> but they're already in a hard time. He tried to give them a good time, actually, but they're not willing. So they wander around. They are shaped, scandered. So why is shape is being scandered? Let's let's do a query a little bit. Tell me what do you think why is shape is being scandered? Go there. A shape? Yeah, the shape. Like you you're a shepherd, you can see shape being oh. scandered and uh, why do you think you didn't get a scandered? Maybe because they want something yeah. other than what's in that area, so they go somewhere else to get none. Yeah, yeah, sometime later. Yeah. And the scandered shape 
it's, it's, it's if there have animals out there, vicious animal, wolves, something, and mm -hmm. all the terrain will be dangerous, am I? The weather can be dangerous, who knows, am I? It's scattered, not easy to really be protected or informed, led by the separate whatever. <laughs> Somebody knows what they need in a, in a time of danger or difficulty. So then, you know, Jesus is basically carried that a shepherd heart and said, hey, my sheep are all scattered. I can't even, you know, get them close to me. What I do? <laughs> Torn his heart out, am I? I mean, weep on the top of Jerusalem. Now listen, I'm your teacher a little bit, am I? I want to teach you some things that think so. And you, I, on your standard, not merely a little attention, your mindset may be scattered, am I? It's good for me. What that is good. What is important? Attention scandal. I'm, I'm not trying to speak in your life. You do this, do that, do that. I'm trying to say, let's learn. Use the time wisely when we're together. Which you come here for, right? So, are you really learning poetry? Uh, uh. <laughs> Your parents know it's not all poetry, it's about to afford me a time and you got the time to interact in a different way, am I? So, I mean, the major thing that I'm going to do is uh, through such conversations I carry, that attitude I carry with you. Sounds good. What are you talking about? These are smart points. No, 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 no. The real thing is a we, how you hear me and how I talk to you. It matters everything. How you hear me and how I talk to you mattered in everything. Normally you're going to be, you have many different tiers of relationship, right? So, I come to my relations, I want to use, she's, she's, she's good now for me to be a good plant of my much dispenser and things. Not picking on you, okay? So, uh, I also I don't have time. Teen time with her normally accept this occasion, so I'm gonna be picky on the he is a he's a head of <laughs> So you have uh, your grandparents, your parents, those you love and treasure at one to more than obey, but uh, but really to to please them, I right? to make to make things work good inside you. They they have to come right? they so you say, oh, my girl is a wonderful girl. And uh, she's very good helping with us. Am I so making sense to you? So then you have peers. You know, if you want to be a great sister, great helper, really care about what they need or what they, they want. You just be paying certain things, right? So I um, imagine, I don't know all friendship personally, that there are those other sort of people you want to shout away, right? So you don't want to spend a lot of time with them. And those people you really want to hold on because they have a lot of fun. But let's look at the the real reason or the real appeal, if you feel, whether you like it or not, there's appeal, am I right? There's something your heart said that's worth my attention, worth my investment, worth my life, you know, and make my life fulfilled. So, look at all those things. You may. For now, I don't to clarify those things. I eventually will, right? So, so my my asking is this: How many times you know what the undergird relations look like? What what, what relations look like? Tell me. <laughs> How you think about what it means to be a good daughter? I'm thinking about. Or just because good life, good parents go on, you try to be a good daughter. But is there are general principles to be a good daughter? Just like general principles to be a good student, right? <laughs> Have you think about it? But you know intuitively or absolutely you know someone is not a good daughter to their parents, am I? Always argue, always parents are always bickering. Those maybe not good parents either, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> they, they, you know, they, they, they inspire each other, so not, not really good. Okay. Is it a bad topic for you? No, not really, right? I mean, if you really understand what I'm trying to say to you, you're going to be a mother <laughs> someday. You're going to have a daughter, <laughs> and your daughter is teenager already, too late. 
the alarm. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> the daughter bickering with you all day long, so it was. <laughs> right? <laughs> I hope Kayla don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're too late, eh, right? <laughs> I know your mom is starting to get frustrated around with your young ones. It's so too late! <laughs> I'm teasing, teasing you guys. <laughs> but you can learn something. You can definitely learn from being a good daughter. Appreciate your mother's heart. Appreciate how you act with elders in your family. You learn. <coughs> oh, intuitively. Oh, this is how we do family. <laughs> see, see how this is how to be a good mom. So it's very hard for modern cultures, modern culture in general, <clears throat> to understand those kind of um, absorption is very important in life. Benji, all right. <laughs> well, let's have a good day. We have a good time. <laughs> The good friends. Yeah. Somehow I'm gonna have a happy family as well. Uh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> so something to take, all right? I know the Bible. I'm preaching the gospel. I'm gonna have a good family. God will bless me with that family. Good, good, good. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? No, maybe actually happen. I like that. So, so because we don't necessarily absorb the wisdom, the undergirding principle here, the the cultural visions about relationships. Uh, somebody totally abandoned me, man. Right? So that's no one terrible, <laughs> not helpful. But I want the kid to pray for us before we move on to something else. Father, thank you for today. Lord, I pray that you would lay your hand on everyone in this room. Father, that you would help us learn from you more and more every day. Lord, that we won't be afraid to speak of you or your word, Father. And that you would pour your heart into ours so we can pour it into others and have your wisdom, Lord, not the wisdom of this world. And I pray that everyone in this room will get your wisdom, mm -hmm. Father, and that they will not be afraid to share it. Mm -hmm. And they will share it, Father, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Nami, I want you to rise up to pray for these two young ladies, to bless them. Mm -hmm. Big system. You're the leadership. I'm going to teach you how to lead. And uh, I'm going to give you not a hard time, but to give you some substantial time to build you up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Father, we love you, Lord. I just thank you, Lord, for your purpose, Lord, and your plan. Lord, I thank you for um, these two sisters, um, Kayla and Esther. Lord, I just um, bless their life. Lord, I bless their um, purpose in um, your culture, Lord, mm. um, the purpose that you have for them. Mm. Lord, I pray that you would just continue to... Um, or they would continue just to uh, seek out, Lord, your will, and um, that they would change their mindsets in a way of um, growth, Lord, in, in your uh, culture, in your way. Lord, that they would learn your blueprint um, and continue walking on the path of your righteousness, Lord, and your wisdom and your understanding. And Lord, that this world would not be distracting, Lord, that um, they would keep their heads up high, Lord, and continue to just search for you, Lord, and your way. Lord, I thank you, um, Lord, just for their relationships, Lord, that you continue to build them together and um, encourage each other um, in your truth and in your light. And I pray that you would just bless the ways this time, in Jesus' name. I think they give uh, one comment. You guys grow so beautifully and uh, exponentially sometimes. It's very more than a fact. You know? <laughs> really, the inner man is it's marvelous, beautiful to witness. Not only, don't be stressed out. Okay? You're, the, you're the oldest. So I told you I'm going to pick on you to use uh, you as a breaking point. Right? So, 
you, you sheep of spirit, and you're sheep of tea, you know, so. <laughs> you're the tea for me, <laughs> okay, so I can talk to you like that, everybody's going to catch up, you know, so. and uh, so I'll pick on you in that way, but not pick on you because I'm not happy with this. Oh, yeah, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. And, uh, well, Let's uh, let's go on with our reading about ten minutes, so we can have to catch up real quick. That's why I'm doing my poem time. So yeah, learn good poetry, right? Nice. So Kila, we're gonna start with yours. Kila, child. I think I have one. You don't? Okay, I'll share it with you. Oh, yeah, I haven't shared it yet. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're going to start with the childhood. But mm-hmm. 10 minutes, wrap it up quickly. Okay, I just got to send it to everyone. Okay. You read it. Okay, does everybody have it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Alright. Childhood. To be a child again, to run through the trees, free and wild with abyssful ease. Without a care in the world, with their heads held high, day by day as time dances by. Mm. Children's pure little hearts, so sweet and sound, when they play with their toys and twirl, that twirl round and round. Mm. To be a child again, to get lost, to be found, laughing with a chill, cheerful sound. Mm. Without a care in the world, with a heart with a heart at peace where the worries where worries trouble me not in the least i know last sentence not in the least and the uses were good so. and this is um i wrote this from an adult perspective adult perspective i think you comment on that and share that with us yeah it's a good one so you're looking back childhood or look at the top of this thing, huh yeah Observing child, child, children, all the behavior. Okay. <clears throat> so, Noah, how much, how many, how, what is the grade from this one? I think I did 8 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Oh, where is it? I don't see it. So, okay, 8 out of 10. Oh, yeah, there you go. Good job. Simple to sweet. Now, let's comment. We're going to start with Esther. Yes. Um, so, you don't borrow others. <laughs> I think that this is a very good. Um, I always call him Edward. I really like this poem, Kayla. I think you it flows together really well, mm. and you did nice with the metaphors, metaphors. and rhyming and stuff. Mm. Which metaphor you like the best? I like the one day by day as time passes by, mm. and um, yeah, I think you did an amazing job on this. Mm. Thank you. Day by day as time dances by. That's a personification. That's not really a metaphor. Yeah, it is. Kind of the same. Kind of metaphor. Oh, yeah. Time is like a person in a sense. Yeah, it should. Yeah, it's both. It's so both. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, everybody, um, Elijah has something to com- comment. Yes, you can. Uh, this one seems a lot more poetic than what you've usually done, mm. which is a big step. Mm. And I think you did really good with that, mm. rhyming and stuff. Um, uh, I don't know, I'm not really sure where you, like, like you put, like to be a child again, to be a child again, you did that twice. And it kind of made sense because it was like a beginning and the end. But like without a care in the world, and then without a care in the world at the other part, it kind of, I don't know, it didn't feel the cl- flow together that well. Because like if to be a child again without a care in the world, if you said that twice and they both kind of went together one time and then again, that would kind of make sense. But it kind of split up a little bit. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I just, it kind of seems a little off. That's for a good point. Actually... Thinking about the killer, if I were you, I might just move the second paragraph, uh, the third paragraph to the second place. You know, 
then put the third paragraph, uh, the middle paragraph in last. But then it wouldn't have like an, an ending very well if it just, ah, uh, right. there yeah. would be no fading. And the reason why, I did, and I'm not saying that mm. you were wrong, you were absolutely mm. right. Mm. Um, is the reason I did that is to make it more of an more repeating a yeah. few things to make it yeah. more of an ending. Yeah, I don't, I'm not criticizing you for doing yeah. that. Doing, I do that all the time, my phone. Yeah. And, uh, but it's just the way that it was done with two different things. Mm. Mm. It, it, it kind of mixed it up a little bit because, like, I don't know. I'm not really an expert, so what I'm saying might not even make any sense. But it, it does. I mean, in a sense, Kayla, if you can hear him, is that uh, the notion that the care of the world not that outstanding and distinct, mm -hmm. not stand out, make that kind of uh, reputation meaningful in the sense mm -hmm. to, you understand know, my point, but uh, yeah. the structure of repeating the things is a very skillful setup. I, I want to comment on, comment on that. So that's very good uh, form-wise. You did something extremely uh, distinctly improved your past with writing because you used to write like essay, you know, this time you really begin to pay attention to perform a poetry. Who is that? Interesting. Well, you're too late. Missed everything, oh, man. man. I was, I was coming on Killer's poem and uh, we'll speak a lot of good things and she's pretty happy about it. Okay. Yeah. So far, every the spirit is like, doo! <laughs> <laughs> but they learned a lesson, man. So it's important for every to learn a lesson. So. But yeah, those are those are all my points. It's a really good poem. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I agree. She did uh, very well on this one. Uh, everybody's improving. It's pretty evident. Uh, I actually was actually I was actually going to mention the same thing about the. Uh, the flow of using that that um, that line without a care in the world twice. Um, I I don't see it as a hundred percent unacceptable. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's still technically okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but as it concerns style and flow of the poetry, um, it would have been nice to have it actually, maybe even directly under to be a child again, mm -hmm. so that you begin the first and last. Uh, paragraphs, so that's what those are called in poetry. Mm -hmm. um, to be a child again without a care in the world, to be a child again without a care in the world, start both. That actually would have worked better, in my opinion, because uh, mm -hmm. uh, again, I, I don't think you actually that's made. I don't think you actually made a a, a bad mistake mm -hmm. in doing what you did, but yeah, um, yeah you. Um, besides that, you used a lot of good imagery mm -hmm. and figurative well, language and and. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, I think you I think you did really well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I really appreciate the when I read it I remember I appreciate this this notion with our heads held high. That was beautiful. That was a really, really beautiful. Not merely because of poetry, but the, the attitudes of the heart, you know, and understand the to have a, a confidence of in life, you know, with ourselves. So I think that's something to do with your dance in partition there, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's how you do it, okay. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, Elijah, yours, we're gonna take a little bit more time, but then, go ahead. You want me to read mine? Yes, yes, then wrap it up, yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody shared it with Justin, so I wanna hear it. Did I? Yeah, I'll share it with you. Mm -hmm. This is a really good poem, I remember. Oh wait, you're you're already in it. I shared it with you. Mm -hmm. I'll find it here. Wait, oops. Oops, <laughs> which one? I accidentally just removed you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll send it to you again. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see how it is. <laughs> there, I think it takes away. <laughs> I, I it remember. It just like randomly pushed his name. And I remember, I really like this poem. Yeah. I just forgot what it's saying. <laughs> did you get that? So good. Okay. so good, you didn't even forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, here we go. Hey, let me read. No, I'm going to read. No, okay. Um, Great. Childhood. Read love. Who were we before the spreading roots and the towering tree? Mm. 
before we spread our wings, before we looked beyond what our eyes could see. Mm. Each step was taken, one moment to the next. No thought too complex, not bother, not bothered, nor vexed. Mm. A heart full and free, an untamed mind focused only upon glee. Unaware of who I am, or to be, unaware of my own will, or the wills of my fathers before me. Mm. Love was a natural flow. To the hands of my father was it known. To the voice of my mother did it show. Mm. Little clay boy, do not regret, resist the hand of your creator. Mm. Little clay boy, do not fear the fire. Mm. Who are you? Who have you become? Mm. Who are you, little clay boy? Wow, that's a, that's a powerful, beautiful poem. Mm -hmm. Hey Naomi, can you read it for us as well? This is such a beautiful poem. <clears throat> Who are we before the spreading roots and the towering tree? Before we spread our wings, before we look beyond what our eyes could see. Each step was taken, one moment to the next. Not not or no thought too complex, not bothered or vexed. Mm. A heart full and free, mm. an untamed mind focused only upon glee. Mm. Unaware of who I am or to be. Mm. Unaware of my own will or the will of the fathers before me. Mm. Love was a natural flow through the hands of my father as was known, it known. Through the voice of my mother did it show. Little clay boy, do not resist the hand of your creator. Mm. Little clay boy, do not fear the f fire. Who are you? Who have you, who have you become? Who are you, little clay boy? Mm. Wow. This is really something else. This, I like this poem very much. So. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's good. Wow. Something I really like about <laughs> this poem is, uh -huh. um, I just really like the way Elijah writes in almost like a story. Like yes. It always feels like it's a story that was told long ago. Yes, yes. Um, and it's just, it, it almost makes it more powerful because it seems like it's been passed through. Uh -huh. Like it's a story that's known, but it's an older story. Uh, um, I don't know, I'm not nice. having... Yeah. I'm not explaining that well, but I just yeah. really like the way Elijah yeah. writes his stuff. It's very, yeah. very mature. Very mature. Writing. Mm. We're reflective yeah, about his self in a man. That's some part really, really get at you, you know, so mm -hmm. that, uh, and then he referred not the shallow or foolish part, really inside the fold. Right. And uh, the place where the soul wrestles with the spirit almost, you know, so all work in the spirit in a sense so that's a, so 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 wonderful so um, yeah you guys all are very insightful beautiful and uh you, you thought but elijah have a very particular particular talents to to call in you know, and he's surprisingly brilliant so yeah Naomi, do you finish your comments there what about the style other things um the we whole thing is organized here mm -hmm. I think maybe there could be like the, the style of um, mm. uh, like it's how it's set out could be like some parts maybe put together. Mm. Uh, I, I, you you might want to look like this because he wrote oh, like yeah. this. Oh, yeah, well I guess yeah, it's hard to say. Oh, that's me. true. Yeah, it looks so way better that way. Making sense to you? Yeah, yeah, that looks more lines. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, that looks much better. Yeah. So. Oops. Yeah. I think, yeah, it actually looks mm -hmm. good like this. Yes. Um, actually, we're good in kind of four, two, two, four, mm -hmm. that kind of arrangements, yeah. I don't think I have much else to say, except that it's... Some, really I mean, the sum is powerfully for a woman it can drive you to tears, you know. Love with a natural feeling. So 
through the hands of my father was a no. Through the voice of my mother did a show. Wow. And something else, man. Oh, where's your chair? I'm stretching my old but man legs there, back. There is, I'm, I'm good right now, brother. Chair, brother. No, I'm, I'm feeling yeah. good. My, yeah. You can look at that. Stretch out. Okay. Yeah. I'm up. standing up right now. Ooh, head, <laughs> <laughs> hold high. Mm -hmm. Okay. Comments. I think it's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, th this is professional level. Yes. Imagery. I'm telling you. Look, yeah. This is, this poem is, is brilliant. I, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I I would agree. I think yeah. you what you're experiencing, mm -hmm. and the, and the way that you communicate it, in a poetic form. I think is extremely encouraging. Yeah. But I but I, I think the real linchpin there is when and you alluded to it. Love was a natural flow. It there's a shift that takes place shift, there. Yeah. yeah. And then. Uh, the imagery of little clay boy mm. uh, i mean wow I mean, love was a natural flow then identifying with your father your mother mm. and then little clay boy obviously being something that still needs to be and that's shaped and clay molded. boy what a beautiful picture man mm -hmm. and then leaving the and it serves two purposes because it, right. you can ask those questions at the end reflectively as if you're asking yourself as the author but you really invite the reader into that same mm. pondering and so i think the power of your writing in particular in this this piece that you've written mm. is very relational in nature yeah about the struggle of one's childhood and the, the maturity to grow up and to find mm. oneself and to, even ask, you know, how, how were you formed? Mm. Whose voice did you listen to? I mean, it's mm. it's profound. It's really, really it's profound. Yeah. yeah. There are a few poems. You know, always good at poem writer. That's not, but just stand out. That's like a, there's something else. One of uh, your poems, the other kind. Yeah, I remember it was. Really, really good. So I don't necessarily know English poem poetry very much, but I I can feel the, the thoughts, the brilliance of the thoughts behind it, and it's just wonderful. To me, well, if if I'm a teacher, I'm, uh, uh, which I am, okay. So, <laughs> on the father, we're proud of what he got wrote sometimes, you know. So, but continue to better. Because the next part of the edition. <laughs> you comment on your Yeah, you, you need to criticize him more. Yeah. Because, because he's not going to offend by you very much. <laughs> I'll try. Mm -hmm. If Naomi sees too much, you're not going to laugh at that. It would be you, Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think like Justin said, that um, the way that you wrote it and the thoughts were put, I think it's very um, powerful. And like you said, it really um, makes the reader ponder and really like visualize what you were mm. saying here. Mm. And I think that you know, each line has a very specific place, and I think you found that place for mm. each of them. Mm. I think it all really comes together. Yeah. And yeah, the thoughts, I really like them. And like, wow. uh, just when saying very professional, and mm -hmm. doesn't seem like something someone like you. No, <laughs> 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 be serious. <laughs> it's true. But like, yeah, it's very powerful. And the, qu the questioning is one of my favorite things. Like in every poem, I think, or most of them, I've like read of yours, there's yeah. always a question. Mm. And I think that's what makes it really. Yeah. But wow. yeah. I was a little confused about the one really funny yeah. part right here. Unaware, unaware of who I am to be or to be. Like, like, like for who are you gonna grow up to be? Okay. Because that's what every little kid questions. And mm -hmm. Every little kid says they want to be something mm -hmm. they don't really know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes kids don't even really know what it is to be someone. Mm. Right. But yeah, I really like it, and I definitely can see mm. that you're improving 
even more. Yeah. This one is where it is. Yes. Yeah. 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 So he just didn't criticize at all except one thing. Yeah, sorry. It's only clarity. I thought there would be a lot of criticism on this because like, I wrote it on my trip to Texas. <laughs> Oh, that's when Sondra, I remember. Yeah, it was like a really, it was yeah. a thunder and lightning night. I was up at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I wrote it, and this is then I just went to bed. That's, I think it's that's really a inspired a poem mm -hmm. to me, so it's not something that's kind of <coughs> going about. But uh, hello, young ladies. Do you have guys have any comments about that? No comments? Besides what everyone else said. Oh, see, I'm telling you, the last one is difficult. I already said everything, so. That's it? Similar comments. Okay. That means ready to buy you some ice cream for you. So. Oh. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, no worry about that for us. Not anything besides what everyone else says. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's definitely gonna slide for you, so go ahead. I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, he did very excellent in this poem. Uh -huh. I think uh, there were a few small things I had to fix, which I guess is understandable. For man, Noah gonna eat, eat point five, man. Uh, that's terrible, <laughs> Noah. <laughs> I, that well, well, well. I grade people harder who do particularly Okay, tell well. me why the 2.5, uh, 1.5 <laughs> is lost. I think, this are, besides some grammatical a stuff, few yeah. grammatical things okay. and uh, mm -hmm. his his execution and his wording of a few different things, which tends to be of, I guess, Awkward, uh, minor importance as it mm. relates to the idea itself, which I think was really good. Mm. Um, just it's really for just a few small things, not anything. I don't think ever Noah greeted anybody's poem with nine. I see maybe. That's, I, I got a, I got a yeah. nine for my uh, yes, for my speech. Yeah, I got a nine that's, for mine. I got a nine for my essay. Poem, 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 poetry. Oh, and okay. he, yeah. I, have, I have done. You have a higher standard. standard everything, poetry. everything can't be a ten or a nine because <laughs> then you know then it waters down the impact of. No, it always drives you to do it better. That's right. Okay, you guys are uh, 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 a better teacher than me, obviously. Uh, worse teacher than me. But no, this is like... <laughs> this one, I'm going to give you a 9.5. Thanks. Yeah. A list. Yeah. Even 9.8. Nice. Yeah. Wow. I would add another 9.85. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. There's so much I like it. But this is a wonderful. Well, I know everybody is uh, is uh, is uh, is ready to go, but I want uh, Justin Reed for us because Justin is such a wonderful reader. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> read this one, childhood. Yeah, let's uh, really pay attention how he read it. Okay, learn, learn to what he's right. Mm. Who are we, before the spreading roots and the towering tree? before we spread our wings, before we looked beyond what our eyes could see. Each step was taken, one moment to the next. No thought too complex, not bothered nor vexed. A heart full and free, an untamed mind focused only upon glee, unaware of who I am or to be. Isn't that amazing? Glee, free, be. Actually, you need to get into four sentences, you know, the line. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. Okay. Unaware of my own will, or the will of the fathers before me, mm. love was a natural flow. Through the hands of my father was it known. Through the voice of my mother did it show. Mm. Little clay boy, do not resist the hand of your creator. Little clay boy, do not fear the fire. Oh, beautiful is that one. Mm -hmm. The imagery. Wow. Who are you? Who have you become? Mm -hmm. Who are you, little clay boy? Wow, that is powerful. That's almost making me tear. That's how powerful this poem is. Mm -hmm. Wow. Who are you, little clay boy? Mm -hmm. that, we ramp it up, so. Well, how about you pray for us? Who can pray for us? Japanese people can pray for the Japanese kids.
us, Father. We thank you for this time, Father. Lord, for the teachings, Father. The teacher. The teachers, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for these hearts, Lord. Willing and wanting to know more, Lord. Desiring you. Really trying to live out for your will, Lord, over anything else. Lord, I just pray that you would bring peace and understanding, Lord, to these hearts that are confused, maybe, or are wanting to hear from you, Lord, or are curious of which step to take next, Lord. Father, I thank you for, Lord, that you are bigger than anything mm. that could truly come against you, Father. Father, we just, we want to live our lives passionate and on fire for you, Lord. We want to be a generation not like any other. Amen. To be set apart for a greater community, purpose. Lord, to set a culture, Lord, that you have set in our lives, Lord, to practice out and live out and pass, pass on to the many gen generations coming. Lord, we want to not be remembered by our own name, but by yours, Father. Wow. So I just pray for you. Man, man, what a mighty prayer. I just pray for this purpose, Lord. And I just pray that you would take all selfless, selfish ways, Lord, out of our lives and to have a humble, selfless heart for you. We know that only you can do it, Lord. The ways of this world are heavy on our shoulders. And keep pressing harder and harder each day, Father. But we pray for freedom, Lord, and the releasing of anything holding us down for what is true. Lord, I just, I thank you for this day, and I pray that you help us not to forget what we're here for, Father. And who we are, Lord. I pray that our identity will be found in you, Lord, mm -hmm. and in nothing else. Amen. Lord, I pray this in your name. Mm -hmm. Amen.